Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. My name is Sanya and today we're going to be covering whether if you really, 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 really want, 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 want something badly enough, will you get it? Why is this rubbish advice that I was given when I was younger and when it can actually make some sense? And before we even start, this video is probably going to be triggering, so if you need to leave, skip it. So I actually spoke about this with the maid of mine and... You know, they just said, you know, I really, if I really, really want it badly, I'll get it. And I'm thinking, <laughs> no. <laughs> and now I'm telling you why. We get things that we believe in that we can get. Say, for instance, if you want money, you and you have a belief that you really, really need to work hard and you really, really need to give like 20, 14 hours a day. And if you really, really, you know, hustle for it. And if you don't sleep and if you do, then, then you'll get it. And, you know, some people really, really work hard, really hustle a lot, really don't sleep, really put all of it into it and maybe get it. And that's why you have all these stories of how many people are burnt out and whatnot. However, you can actually, if you see, so, I've heard so many stories recently where people that are one of the richest people in the world don't necessarily do a lot of work and maybe they work few weeks in a year and that's pretty much it and they just do their other bits and stuff and for a lot of people will be like well yeah but they're rich what do you expect it's all of the way how we've been taught and what we believe to be true and we align with that and if you really 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 let's say want a million pounds but you can't be bothered if you have that belief system to work 14 hours a day or not just bothered you just have other things to do or if you still have that belief but you also maybe have belief that maybe you're not that type of luck that you would get it or people like me don't get it or any sort of belief that it's not serving you you're not gonna get it and this goes to any single thing in your life if you want a soulmate and you want to attract a line with a soulmate whether it's not just a soulmate, soulmate can be even your friend, but let's say soul partner, maybe that's, you know, what most of the people are wanting these days, which is completely fine. And they think, well, there are not enough good women or good men on this earth. Look how women are, look how men are. And you just maybe generalize everyone and say they're bad or someone hurt you in the past. And then now you say, all men are bad, all women are bad. They're only doing it like that. They're only doing it this. You're not actually seeing the people that are really good, that are really ideal for you. And maybe your higher vibration just believing in it that they actually exist would bring you closer to them maybe you would also meet them and also sometimes we need to work on ourselves in order to align with that partner some some people are working on this working on themselves and they're thinking well where are they what's happening you know i've been doing all this work i've raised my vibration i'm successful in every single field that i set out to be successful at where are they like maybe they just don't exist however keep in mind that you want to be the that version of yourself that it's healed that that version of yourself that you won't with your traumas let's say maybe attack them for something that they didn't deserve you want to be the best pos possible version of yourself when you meet that person so that you can expand your happiness you want to be happy and joyous when you're with them i'm not saying there won't be any um you know space for healing i'm not saying you won't have anything to heal from however you do want to be with that person connect when it's the best time and then grow together from it and what if just what if that person is still working on themselves if not what you have to do but what they have to do they want to be the happiest version they want to have joy they want to heal and maybe they are still working on that so don't lower your vibration just because you haven't seen them yet don't lower yourself and change your beliefs just because they haven't showed up yet you want it to be the best moment the perfect moment the maybe most unexpected moment and in the best possible way because when it's the right person it's always the right time it's always the right moment it's always the right everything there's no such thing as you know the right person the wrong time no when it's the right person it'll be the right time so don't settle don't 
um, go back to maybe some of your previous toxic relationships because you maybe feel alone because you can't see them coming they're there they're waiting for you if you still believe in them if you still believe in your love together they will show up in your life so just keep going and you can tell yourself that okay i feel i'm ready at this level to me that soul partner i'm ready at this level i am joyous i healed i'm still working We're, we are always going to be work in progress but now i'm ready to share my joy to shave to share my life with someone else who will add on it i will also add to his or hers life or theirs and we'll just grow together and i think as long as you stay there and know okay maybe they just need you know little finishing touches and we'll meet once you truly believe that that will happen that will happen if you keep saying to yourself again any sort of area in your life even maybe going to a certain university or getting a certain job or whatever that may be if i really 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 want it and i want it and i want it and i really want it and i really want it you're vibrating from a space of lack that's the one of the most the one of the biggest reasons why that if you really really want it you will get it is rubbish because when you're saying i want it i want it but it's not there but i really want it but it's not there but i really want it but it's not there you're vibrating lack you need to be on the same vibration as what you want to receive if you want that certain job how will that job make you feel it'll make you feel good it, it'll make you feel relieved it'll make you feel joyous maybe you'll jump up and down from joy do anything that you can to raise your vibration if thinking of that goal makes you feel that you don't have it and you really don't feel good when you're thinking about it you're most likely not gonna get it so do whatever you can that makes you feel good you can just stop and think in your th think to yourself let's say you're opening up a fridge you're hungry you have certain things that you can choose okay so i can eat let's say i don't know a donut let's say a donut in front of me or i can eat a you know a fruit salad or make whatever salad let's say you have those two choices what will make me feel better once i finish eating what will be better for me will this fruit salad be better for me will the donut be better for me and just stop and think what will i feel better from because usually when we eat food that it's not good for us we settle for that like five minutes or or you know 10 seconds if you inhale food <laughs> for that like little bit but then afterwards we're like do, do i really have to eat that donut oh or maybe you eat too much oh i'm stuffed now i don't feel very well so think long term not long because i say long term because there's always now but what will happen in the now once you finished eating that are you going to be maybe a little, even a little bit proud of yourself maybe you can have both but first you'll eat the fruit salad and then maybe you'll have that uh, donut and then you'll say well at least you know you can always start somewhere but that sort of thinking not no i want donut I'll, of course you're not going to feel better you're not going to be looking after your body again this vessel is the vessel that we have to experience the physical and if you really don't like your body you're not your body i really hope that you'll start um you know thinking that your body is you you have a body you have an arm you know or you have a head you have your eyes but you're not your eyes you're not your body you're not your belly you're not your thighs <laughs> you're not your hips but what do you want you want to experience the gorgeousness of this physical life okay what can i do so this vessel it's like a car it's like a bike it's like anything that we have okay, you, I need to make sure it works properly so I can get to the destination that I want. So I can have the most joyous experiences in this life, which again, does not mean you'll ever, you'll never again eat a donut or a pizza or whatever it is that you like. You'll look after yourself better. You'll start buying better food for yourself. And again, this is just an aspect of that. And that's how you little by little improve things everywhere around you 
You, whether you have an affirmation that you're going to read in the morning and in the evening before you go to bed, whether you're going to have anything, just anything, little touches, little add-ons, little good things, little better things. And, you know, in time, that will become your habit. And then when you establish that new habit, then you can add a little bit more touches here, a little bit more touches there. People want everything to just change overnight start afresh like the new year's resolution from now on i'll do this for the rest of my life and yes there are a few of those little um minority you know they're truly truly a proper minority where they actually say that and now for the rest of their lives they did something however for the majority including me that does not work i even the body is going to be against you. Even the brain is going to go, what on earth are you doing? Because this is the unknown. This is not the habit. This is not what we have every single day. This is our, our out of our comfort zone. The body will be in the brain. What on earth are you doing? No, you can't do this. No, this is too hard. No, this. And soon you'll just talk yourself out of it or your body will just say oh you're not up for it today you know don't do this it takes to really really push through it to really be persistent to to ignore all of that chat to control your body and say no 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 we're doing this whether you like it or not we're we're doing it and that takes a lot if it's a huge huge thing that's why that's why starting small and just building it up. And again, it's going to go like this. I mean, let's keep it real. It's not going to go like that, which everyone expects. It's going to go up and down. But it'll then be like this, and then like this, and then like this, and then like this. And maybe it'll be like this, but you know. So implement something in your life that is good. Don't vibrate from the lack. And the beliefs are the ones who are gonna get you what you really, 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 really want. Your beliefs, not vibrating from lack, belief whether you can actually get it or, or not. And I remember when I was uh, first year of high school and I don't know, 12, 13, something like that. But, um, let's say like that. And I, when I started going to high school, something bad happened to me in, in the summer between elementary school and high school. And I just wasn't good at grades anymore. I mean, I wasn't the worst, but I was always an excellent student. I always has had most A's than anything else. And the majority of them were A's and I was always an excellent student. And then that first year, I wasn't that good. And to be fair, I was really depressed. Uh, I don't know if anyone even knew what happened. I don't know if I shared it with anyone at the time. And I was just low. And I, at the time, you didn't even know the word depressed. You didn't even know what PTSD was. You didn't know anything. I mean, now we know about these things. And I never wanted to bother anywhere, anyone else. And I never wanted to share that burden with anyone else, which again, it's one of the rubbish ideas. You need to find a safe person that you can speak to. But when you get it out, it's, it's, it's really one of the, uh, let's say first steps that you can do to heal yourself on, on your way towards healing. And I was keeping it to myself. I didn't speak about it. Uh, I didn't share it with people that maybe could have helped me at the time. Again, not even knowing what I was going through. I just felt, but now I know I felt depressed. And my, one of my brothers said, okay, if you finish this year as an excellent student, I'll give you, I'll buy you either a, a camera or a laptop. Keep in mind, this was, Jesus, 20 years ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like 20, 19, 28, 20, oh, okay. That was a long time ago. And I said, yeah, sure, fine. And I did everything that people nowadays are saying, you know, I printed out the, the pictures of him. I put it on the door. I did, you know, everything. Yes, you can do it. I did all of the, like a vision board but on my door basically that's what i did and did i finish the first year as an excellent excellent student no so no i did not get a camera i did not get a laptop why did i really want it yes like i would be at the time today this is maybe an ordinary thing 20 years ago it wasn't to actually have either a camera and i love taking pictures or well you can see i love <laughs> doing 
uh, everything and or laptop like I couldn't even at the time decide which one would I want rather but I would just love to get it like that would be amazing and I was depressed like I could not I, I remember sitting reading a book I don't even know what I was reading I don't even know what I just read I couldn't focus I couldn't function and as much as I really 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 wanted it that's another thing I was vibrating lack, but I was just vibrating low in generally, in general. And when you're in that low state, no matter how high the reward is, you're you're just you're just not, you know. And again, we didn't we did I didn't know at the time <clears throat> these things that we have now. I didn't know about the vibration. I didn't know that you can actually go step by step. I didn't even know there was such a thing. I didn't know, you know. Um, like I said in the emotional guidance scale before, you're not just going to go from depressed to joy. That's a huge jump. It's like going on a ladder and expecting to to jump five meters or I don't know what's that in feet, a hundred foot up. I mean, I don't know what, you know, it's, it's those little steps that you have on the ladders that make you go up and up. That's why emotional guidance scale is so important and why I love it. Because if you don't know what the next level is, you get there. And then from there, you can go up, not from the press to joy, it does not work like that. And that's what I try to achieve. So I'll link the emotional guidance scale down below the video if you want to watch it and just go that step by step and everything. So yeah, if you are vibrating high, if you are really like focused, determined, I aligned with the decision. Yes, I want it. Now I'm just going to go and get it. I don't maybe necessarily even know how I'm going to do it, but there's a goal, I'm going for it. Then if you really want it, you can get it. You're not vibrating from lack, you're vibrating from higher vibration, you're vibrating with, I'm aligning with this, even a majority of people would say, I don't even know how things will show up for me. You believe that, you know you're certain, you're getting that. I'm just gonna see how and when, universe or God or source, whoever you believe in, angels will show me, I'll get there. That's that. And when you are in that state, which sometimes takes a lot of healing, which takes to raise your vibration, if you can get someone that is expert in, that can help you and guide you, brilliant. I had to do it by myself and I say every time, would not recommend it to anyone and just, by raising that, by doing these little things in your life, you raise it, you go there. Again, th this would be too long of a video and probably hours or days there would be talking about how to get there step by step. But you have so many videos on my YouTube already that I'm sure if you like watch all of them or even how to love yourself. That's the base. Again, a link, link down below the video. Base of everything. If you don't love yourself, if you have this negative self-talk, if you're constantly moaning, complaining, if you're constantly down, if you're depressed and now you want, I don't know, a million pounds and you don't have the belief that you can get it, but you're like, yes, I can get it. Yes, I believe it. Yes, I'll do it. Yes, it's on my vision board. Yes, but you know, you, you're not feeling it. That's not the feeling of I have a million pounds. And again, that the money's not uh, necessarily going to make you happy, which why we have a lot of millionaires that you know, are committing suicides or drug addicts or, you know, just are miserable in their lives. That's another side that you can have that, which is why I remember Jim Carrey, I think, who said, I would like everyone to have money and fate and to be like millionaires and achieve all of those, those types of goals to see that that's not, not what's going to make you happy. And I'm not saying that's not important part because yes, it is. It gives you freedom. It gives you the freedom to be yourself, not having to think about how you're going to pay something or how you're going to afford something. Yes, it's, it's an important part. I'm not saying that it isn't. But what I am saying is that you can work on your happiness and be even at least a step higher in, in your vibration. And even if you, if you um, do the guidance, uh, emotional guidance scale, and as you raise your vibration, you're going to align with more and more and more and more things that are going to be serving you. Change your beliefs. Again, link down below how to change your beliefs. And again, step by step, not all at once in like a little bit kaboom. Step by step, gradually you'll get there. And I think it's much better to do it step by step, working on yourself. And maybe two years, five years from now, if you do every single day things consistently, 
that a lot of us are saying and again you have so many videos of me talking about it to after five years live the best life ever happiest for the rest of your life then doing the same thing still be miserable after five years and probably for the rest of your life and then they say then they say this doesn't work or you saying oh, only these types of people get the money or you can do it only that way or or whatever but the conclusion is if you really 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 want something truly want something and if you're vibrating from lack you will not probably most likely get it so work on your vibration working on feel good read a good book put music that makes you feel good uh, meditate meditate to quiet those thoughts to actually hear sometimes the answer that you would you know there are so many times that um angels again however you want to call it are sending you the messages but because you're, you're inside your head for so long and so often and low you're vibrating low you're not just hearing the answer if practice quieting the thoughts every single day 10 15 20 minutes you'll hear it the answer what you need to do you can actually every single time you go into meditation ask a question and then sit in silence for 20 minutes until you get the answer every single day and what will determine when will you hear it is based on your vibration so don't just give up if after a week or two you don't hear the answer do it every single day until you hear the answer and then just one day you'll be like oh, yes okay let's do this yeah N now how to follow your gut instinct and so on and so forth should probably be another another video because i think a lot of you are getting these gut um gut feelings and instincts and but then you just talk yourself out of it but again <laughs> a whole different video so i'm really hoping this helps don't vibrate from lack work on yourself and i'm wishing you the best 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 weekend and everything <laughs> love you guys bye